know that to be pro-life means we care about the dignity of every single human life. That unborn child, that mother, that father. And this might be difficult for some of us, but yes, we even care about the men and women who work inside of the abortion industry. Our next guest used to run four abortion facilities in Dallas before she experienced a profound conversion. And now she works tirelessly to expose the abortion industry for what they really are and what they're about. What they're about is the dollar. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Carol Everett. I'm the mother of three. I bought the lie and had an abortion with my third child. My life fell apart. I couldn't handle it, I couldn't justify it, I knew I'd kill my baby. But something worked for me. I sold abortions to other women. And every time I sold a woman an abortion in some sick, twisted way, I was all right. And then I saw the money. I saw the money, and I wanted to be a millionaire. I could be a millionaire because my commission was $25 for each abortion. 40,000 abortions would do it. And all I had to do was find 40,000 young women. Our goal was three to five abortions from every woman between the ages of 13 and 18. They would continue using abortion as a method of birth control throughout their childbearing years. Set up those clinics, and I planned to be a millionaire. But today, I see the devastation in women's lives. And I want to take just a moment, because I know in this crowd there are women just like me who have been rescued from the victimhood of that abortion. We now stand safe in the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And if you feel safe, would you raise your hand and show those around you that you're here? And there are and there are men, there are men, and if you gentlemen feel comfortable, raise your hands, because we know you're victims as well. Through a bra very brave man, in 1983, I came to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, and today I work to save the lives of babies physically, mothers from the terror of hardship of abortion, and of course we want eternal life through Jesus Christ. Because of people like Lieutenant Governor Dewhurst, our representatives are here today, our, Senate, our legislator mem legislative members, Attorney General Abbott, we have laws in place today that allow us to save babies and women. <laughs> Planned Parenthood has been defunded. They cannot use that plan of getting children sexually active early by giving them low-dose birth control pills and dispensing defective and second condoms. <laughs> that will save some. But the new sonogram law, the new sonogram law will allow that abortionist who will lie to her, but he must now sit down with her 24 hours in advance in a private, confidential setting to give her, for the very first time, a fully informed consent. <laughs> we believe when women walk through that door that they will see some part of the truth and pray with us that they will. Yeah. And when they leave, that they will go to the nearest pregnancy center and choose life for their babies. And those pregnancy centers will be funded by the Choose Life license plate on the back of your car. We have a lot of work to do. Lieutenant Governor Dewhurst just told us that abortions had already fallen by 5% in Texas. My friends, our goal for next year is another 45%, 50% less abortions. 
thousand lives saved next year by you standing in front of the abortion clinic, by those of us who can't be in front of the abortion clinic who are praying, and those who are giving to those ministries that are there, those that are supporting the crisis pregnancy centers, and you who are counseling in the pregnancy center using your God-given talents to save babies and women's lives every day. We have a job to do here in Texas. Last week, last Sunday, I was in Washington, D.C. at the Student for Life Conference. There were 2,500 young people from across the country who were born into pro-life families and raised pro-life. And my friends, that's why we're winning. We're the only side having babies. Now there's another caveat. You see, we're on God's side. So we do win. But he's given each of us a job. And I don't know what your job is. I know what mine is. So I would encourage you to ask the Lord to show you what part you play. And let's stand together. Let's link arms. Let's move forward. And Texas is now the strongest state in the nation with laws. Let's make them the strongest state of closing abortion clinics and saving lives. God bless you and thank you. games that we have seen here in Texas, there's one man who deserves a very big round of applause as we welcome him. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you Joe Coyman, the Executive Director of the Texas Alliance for Life. Wow, I look at this crowd and Texas is pro-life! Are we not truly blessed to have a leader like Carol Everett? Yeah. And elected officials like U.S. Senator John Cornyn, yeah. Lieutenant yeah. Governor David Dewhurst, yeah. Attorney General Greg Abbott, yeah. and the others who have joined us, and of course, Governor Rick Perry. Yeah. If you haven't signed the, the petition against Planned Parenthood, which is circulating now, please sign it. Having lobbied for pro-life bills in this capital for more than 20 years, I can tell you that our government needs to know that defunding Planned Parenthood is very dear to the hearts of Texas voters. And this petition is a great way to show that. Yeah. General Abbott spoke about the Choose Life license plate. Buy it for your car, light truck, motorcycle, and moped, become a moving billboard for life. Right. Yeah. Promote the loving option, option of adoption wherever you drive. Now there's going to be some yellow cards you can receive when you leave, and this tells you all the information you need to get the Choose Life license plate. It only costs $30. $22 goes to the Office of the Attorney General for pro-life pregnancy resource centers, Gabriel projects, maternity homes, and adoptions agencies. Specifically to help pregnant women considering the loving option of adoption. And you will never mind sitting in traffic again knowing someone behind you can see your Choose Life license plate. This event costs thousands of dollars to put on, and unlike Planned Parenthood, we don't have the abortion facilities to fund our efforts. And we have a, uh, a, a host committee who have helped, but, but the expenses are more than that. Capital rules prohibit taking up a collection on the grounds, but please give a donation to volunteers as you leave the grounds. Look for collection bags like this. If everybody here gave one dollar, we'd easily meet our costs. Of course, we welcome donations of 10, 20, 50 dollars and more. You can make your checks payable to Texas Rally for Life. Your support is making a huge, huge difference. Thank you. Yeah.